We had a lot of running backs fall today, three, due to the pure economics at the running back position. We have a big batch of talented running backs. Teams just going with other positions earlier in the draft, picking up the running backs later. But the first running back off the board today was Rashawn Johnson going to the Chicago Bears, which is very interesting because this is a decent landing spot here with Deonta Foreman and Khalil Herbert on the roster. Deonta Foreman's not for long. Khalil Herbert's a different role. Rashawn Johnson here looks like he's got a pathway for success. Looks like this pathway is going to increase as we get deeper into the season and into the next year. Deonta Foreman's not there for long. Rashawn Johnson's going to have that big guy role. Rashawn Johnson was using the passing game before B. John Robinson was there. Rashawn Johnson's also very nuanced as he was a former quarterback. One of the top quarterbacks out of Texas coming out of high school. He should be able to learn the game well. Big back who runs well, runs laterally well. This should be a good fit for the offense. Should be a sneaky fit for fantasy football. Like I've been saying, some of these running backs are going to leak into day three. That are very talented and you need to be objective with them. You do not want to throw the baby out with the bathwater because they went to the fourth round or the fifth round, look at their pathway to success, and then also measure that with the sunk cost because these players drafted on day three don't have much sunk cost associated with them. So expect those teams to really add more running backs later. But as we're looking at running backs in fantasy football, we should be expecting most of these running backs to be in the committees, to be facing other running backs year after year in the depth chart because this is how the game's changing. This is how things are unfolding. And we're in the running back reset right now. Where we're adding more talent. And the top tier talent starting to get older. So things are going to get a little bit tricky. But looking at Rashawn Johnson here. For the long term. This is a good spot for him. We got a good thing here with the pathway. Two touches. We can already see it. We saw some attrition at the running back position last year. Deontay Foreman hasn't been a perfect bill of health. Neither has Khalil Herbert. So we really could see him be the lead dog in this backfield sooner than later. And the fact that he's a fourth round pick just means the sunk cost isn't up there. But that doesn't mean he won't get the opportunity to succeed early in his career was the first running back off the board today. And we have about 10 other talented running backs still left to draft after him. So that's another good thing to think of. The Bears came in last night, thought, hey, we need to look at Rashawn Johnson, one of the top guys on our board. Even though there's a bunch of other running backs here, we can get fifth, sixth, seventh round. Let's get Rashawn Johnson. Let's get this one in the books and let's start rolling. Rashawn Johnson's a guy you need to look at in your rookie drafts. The value is probably going to climb a little bit as people start reading the tea leaves here. But honestly, this is just a reaction off the rip here as we look through this draft. But Rashawn Johnson did go to a good spot. Let me know your comments below. I want to hear about that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. We're going to have rankings to help you with your rookie drafts. We're going to be talking about these players, and this is only going to help you for dynasty, fantasy, football, football in general, or whatever you want. I'm here for you. I want to thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.